we have our piston oiled and it's ready to go in have our valve covers on I put a little bit of RTV on this gasket just to make sure everything sticks and seals oil up the inside a little bit and our wrist pins set and ready to go in so let's see if we can slip it down rest there for a minute. down nice and smooth this time compared to when it came out on there nice the valves are adjusted now those are ready to go and the piston moves up and down fairly nicely and I don't know whether you'll be able to see it or not but it's got a little bit of side to side play in it so I don't know if this is going to be a smoking tractor or not the underside of this head had a lot of that oily carbon residue that you'd get um, from a machine that burns a lot of oil but I got that all scraped off, so we'll have to see when this fires up. I know it's got plenty of oil all over the head and stuff that's going to have to burn off. But I'm going to put this head on, and we're going to put the bolts in, and we're going to have to see about that hole that I told you guys about over here, and see if we can get the nut underneath the fin. Now the head has been torqued down. I torqued it down to 15 foot-pounds. usually go between 15 and 20, but depending on the condition of the threads and how old it is, I usually just go to 15 because this bolt here, uh, the 5 16 18 bolt that I had to modify, and you can see I have the jam nut in there, worked out really nice below the fin. That just made it to 15 foot-pounds uh, before it pulled the threads out because there's really not a lot in that nut. So it worked out good, and engine rolls over good. It does have a fair amount of compression. You can still hear it leaking out of the muffler a bit. So the valve didn't seat real well, but it should be definitely enough to run either way. So now I can work on getting the fan shroud back down. I have the carburetor for this over in the drawer, so I can get that cleaned up. I'm also going to have to get a fuel system on here. Uh, I don't have the hard fuel line for this style, because these ones on the 40s, they go down, and then they follow. They go down like this, and they follow along, and then come back up behind the carburetor. So I might have another one that I could use. But if not, I could just use rubber fuel line. Our fuel system is on now. I got the carburetor all rebuilt. I made a new gasket for it. I also made a new gasket for the manifold. I have an original style fuel pipe going in. And I cleaned up the bowl, which seemed to do all right. Hopefully we don't have any leaks on this, which would be nice. I also got my throttle lever all rigged up, so that's set to go. The only thing I don't have is the choke, and this is the spring-loaded one because the cable that was on here is in pretty tough shape, so I'll probably just put a wire through it or something to hold it up. So after that, the next thing is going to be this oil filter, the canister oil filter. I'm going to end up changing this out with one of my other ones that I have, because you can see that it was whacked at some point with something, 
I don't know if it'll focus, but there's a bunch of little pinholes here from where it caved in, so I'd really hate to fire it up and have it spraying oil everywhere. But I think I have a couple of these extra that are still good, so we'll get it cleaned out. The crankcase, I look down inside, it does not have any oil in it. And from those of you who remember from the first video of this, when I got it, the guy said that he cleaned out the advanced casting that was packed full of dirt, so I don't know if anything got inside of here. Hopefully not. It doesn't look like it, so I might take a chance and just fill it up with oil and see if it will fire up. So we're getting pretty darn close. I'm going to have to get another spark plug on there because that broke off. But we'll get this oil filter changed up, and then I'll check back. I got the oil filter switched over on here. I had an extra one in the drawer. Now this one I patched at one point with some uh, heavy duty gas tank sealant stuff and it's starting to peel off because it was just on paint so hopefully the uh, oil pressure won't push it out because there was only about like a 3 16 diameter hole in the middle of there so there wasn't much but hopefully it'll hold up just to get this thing started I also noticed that the plumbing isn't correct for the low pressure oil system because it comes straight up into the filter first like high pressure but not really going to worry about it at the moment and I just scrounged up enough used oil that I can still run uh, to make it up to the petcock on the side so it should have enough to get this going just to see what it'll do adjusted all the shift rods um, got my spark plug back in there everything's hooked up so the last thing I'm gonna do is gonna pull it outside throw some gas in it and give it a few pulls 